guys, LJ here from LJ Films and today I'm gonna do a tutorial on Sony Vegas and it's not uh, about Sony Vegas tutorial but more on a plugin that I'm gonna talk about today which is a knit video plugin. Uh, knit video is a denoising plugin where you could use to apply on your video and it will simply reduce the noise on your video. Uh, there are lots of um, denoising uh, plugins out there. There's also one I know from Magic Bullet. It is called the Denoiser. I prefer this program due to its, um, you know, the ability that it gives you. And um, I've tried Denoiser, but it hasn't given me the best results. So uh, I'll be going over how it's done and how I reduce my video and stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna go too detail what's the basics or whatnot, uh, but I just want to show you guys the how I do it and the uh, right way. Uh, if you want to check out more tutorials on knit video, you can go check out their website and they really have a cool uh, video tutorials where they will guide you to you know uh, do a great job. So um, I have a clip here. It is a shot from 5D. Uh, it's shot in a candle shot so basically there is no light at all but just one candle that's lighting his face. I'm not so sure about the camera settings. I think it was about 3200. And what's really cool about 5D is that due to its full frame size, I was able to get a really, you know, pleasing video look uh, just with one light. Uh, and it's really cool. But the problem is that once you start to gain the ISO, uh, you start to have gains, uh, you start to have noise. And as you can see, you see the noise around his arm and at the bricks but I'm gonna show you a magic trick by using the plugin called the knit video um, let's bring that real quick knit video and default and um, this might pop up I don't know you can also install this on Premiere and After Effects but um, I s do it on Vegas because that's my linear software and I render it out and send it to After Effects and furthermore corrections on there so first thing you see here is a video scan type. Uh, you either want to choose progressive or interlaced. Um, but I shot this on a um, uh, 24p, so it's progressive. Uh, if you shot it on interlaced, uh, you check interlaced. And we like to go click configure, and that will uh, pop up a window. Uh, let's just maximize this so that you can see uh, better what we're doing. And there are lots of stuff here and you might be lost because it's your first time to see this. Um, let me just go over the interface real quick. Uh, you can choose RGB and it separates from red, green and blue. And as you can see, uh, here's red and there's a little bit of noise there. As you can see, but in blue, there's a lot, a lot of noise. So it's just one way to show you guys, um, you know, uh, what is noise and what not. And you can also, you know, reduce noise from just one single channel. That's also cool. And you can also see just the um, this kind of stuff, and this shows you basically um, which is in um, uh, focus and which is has the detail, and which is in you know those kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna go back to normal view, and my I am on the advanced mode. You can choose the standard mode, but um, advanced give you more features to play with, and stuff like that. Um, ignore the other stuff, but I'm just gonna go real quick how I do it. Uh, I always like to click on auto profile first and what auto profile does is the plugin automatically um, tries to look for a noise in the frame of your video and try to find out uh, the the noise and it will reduce it so if you if I click the noise filter settings uh, it's gonna change from it's gonna clean up basically so if this is um, before then this is after uh, and here you will you can play more with the um, uh, effect the settings on here however um, it did a great job however as you can see on here uh, there's a little bit of noise and also a noise on his arm and I like to get rid of that uh, and I'm sure that the plugin didn't get all the noise that I wanted to denoise so what's really cool about this is that um, you have more options let's just say before you shot this video you had a color card where you could you know reduce noise or anything like that you can go to a point and uh, go back there and you click configure again and you will be able to denoise the video from that frame and you can just you know go back and forth and choose the best spot you know where to reduce your noise so I'm just gonna go back to configure real quick and do my thing so again just gonna stick on auto profile at first 
and what I'm going to do is pick a noise as you can see the blue channels has been raised because there are a lot of noise on the blue channel and a little little bit of uh, noise on the red channel and there's a slight of noise on the green channel uh, again uh, as you saw a while ago like the RGB channel there are a lot of noise on the blue channel so it's tell it's telling you how much you know effort is done on the blue channel uh, so let's go back to normal real quick and you can also see single channel per channel again I'm gonna go to detail but uh, what you wanna no, what you wanna do with this line is to make a spline curve uh, like this uh, you want to have a shape that's going up to down and if you did that it means you did a great job of denoising it uh, it doesn't have to be too perfect but if you just have an outline where that it's dropping down it means you did a great job so this is the picker so I'm just gonna move it around and I'm just gonna put it on his arm so that I have a great reference of the noise and once you as you can see once you start to mess around with the size it tells you green or blue or yellow or red and green means uh, it is really good. It's telling it's good because it's green and it means that uh, the denoiser will do a really good job if you pick a color using green. And once you start to go down, the green line became thinner. It means it's still good, uh, but it's not that great, but still good. And once you start to go lower, it becomes yellow. Uh, what yellow means, it's, it's okay, but it can do its job. And there's also a thin line of yellow, which means, okay, I'll, I'll try to do with it and there is red red means I can't do anything about it so you can't choose uh, a noise that is you know when it's red so I'm just gonna make it look quite small just there and put it on his arm because that's the noise point and since I already did the auto profile I'm not gonna click that again if I'm gonna click that again it refreshes and choose the noise from there but I just wanna add on the noise because it didn't do a really good job so I'm just gonna click on this that says a um, manual fine tune and if you click that it basically adds and as you saw there was a little bit of color change and um, yeah and to finish this off I'm just gonna click auto complete and what this does is trying to make the shape from top to going down uh, it didn't do a really great job because you know there's not too much details on here but I'm sure it did really great did a great job on the final result so as you can see um, let me try to zoom in a little bit on here. Here's before. As you can see, there are noise on here and in his face, and it looks kind of ugly. And if I see toggle the preview button, it's all gone. Uh, you can again mess around with the settings. Uh, you can reduce the noise, which is only high or mid or low. You can also choose on reducing the noise just the color itself, or if you want to reduce it more, you can bring the Y level upwards. I'm just gonna click on 80. But by default, 60 seems to be working really well. But in this kind of situations, I want to reduce it a little bit more. So I set on 80. And I'll leave settings alone. And I'm going to sharpen it a little bit because once you start to denoise your video, uh, it starts to get kind of blurry. But, you know, I didn't blur it that much. So I'm going to sharpen it back up. By default, it also works well. But I'm just going to reduce it around, you know, 30 or 50 or around that range so that um, I still have you know more space to color correct when I you know send it to an editor or a colorist later on so um, yeah that's basically it I just click apply and uh, done and, you know there's still radius and threshold but that's you to figure that out and as you can see uh, I really did a great job I'm just gonna try to compare before and after so basically this is after this is before after before after that looks really great and now what I can start doing is um, uh, maybe render this out or anything like that uh, this plugin uses your CPU a lot so I suggest you render it when you wanna you know start editing with this but I have a Core i7 which works still well with this so you know if you have a slow computer I suggest you just render this out and start editing so yeah um, I find this better than the magic bullet denoiser and if you're trying to find a plugin that will denoise your video or if you just have a shot which is not pleasing at all to look at uh, it really does a great job so go check it out and um, yeah so thank you for watching this was LJ from LJ Films and I hope to see you guys next time <laughs>